Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I mean, look, we all know Obsidian Flames is coming. I've told you Obsidian Flames is coming. But we're in that weird situation with Obsidian Flames where it's all a little bit. We've had a little bit of news here and there, and we've had Pokemon card, or Scarlet and Violet 151 kind of jumping in in the meantime as well. So I thought today was a great day to sit down and have a look at everything that we know about Obsidian Flames. Sounds like a plan? Good. Now, Obsidian Flames is officially releasing on August the 11th, which is, of course, the very first day of the Pokemon World Championships. It would be highly amusing and chaotic if it was legal for the World Championships. Obviously, it's definitely not, but it would be some kind of, it would be interesting, to say the very least. Now, in terms of how the set is made up, whereas a lot of the time we would have multiple Japanese sets being mashed into an English set, here it's just one. Remember, they've had the mini set Pokemon Card 151, but we've got Scarlet and Violet 151, which is our own special set, which is bringing that in. Which means that the only Japanese set which is actually being used for our set here is Ruler of the Black Flame. We have one Japanese set, which is basically coming over here as Obsidian Flames. Now, obviously, that's not enough cards. I, I think that's fair to say. There's not enough cards in Ruler of the Black Flame to bring us, like, a proper set. All right? So what we're doing instead is we are bringing in some other stuff. So from the reveals we've seen recently, we know there are some EX start decks over in Japan. A series of, well, there are eight decks plus two secret. So we, we know it essentially comes out to ten decks, right? We know that there are 10 decks which are being released in Japan, actually have recently been released in Japan, and they feature, well, each of them has a new EX in, but then there's also some other new cards as well. And the good news is, we now have confirmation that at least a decent chunk of them are going to be in Obsidian Flames. So we've had actual confirmation and reveals that Clefable is being in there, Decidueye's in there, Victini's in there, Maridon's in there, Coridon's in there, and Terra Greedent is in there. Now, as it stands at the moment, we have not actually had confirmation of the others. So, I mean, look, there is, I suppose, a chance that we don't get Greninja, Melmetal, and Houndoom, and then Terra Dragonite. To be clear, I don't think there's a realistic chance, but there is always maybe the case that these have been taken out to be used as promos, or some of them have. But these EX start decks, you can assume that they are going to be in the set, because we've already been shown that a bunch of them are. Like I say, there are 10 EXs, 6 of them have been revealed in English, 4 of them haven't. Actually, to be fair, Karadon and Raiden were actually revealed in another European language. But you get my point here. They're going to be part of Obsidian Flames. The other thing which we now know is going to be part of Obsidian Flames is the EX set. Now, this was a set that came around in Japan around about the same time as Snow Hazard and Clayburst. And it featured four packs of each. But it also featured three new EXs. Now, of those new EXs, we have had Pormot shown off, revealed, that is official, it is 100% definitely coming in Obsidian Flames. It has been revealed. Similarly, we've seen Toad Scroll, which is 100% absolutely confirmed, going to be coming in the set, we've seen it in English. We have not yet seen Houndstone. Now, again, what I'm saying here is exactly the same as I just said for the EX start decks. I think it is overwhelmingly likely the Houndstone will be in Obsidian Flames. However, until we actually see it revealed, it is likely, but not confirmed. It could have been removed to be used as a promo. We haven't heard anything suggesting that is the case, but as always, it is possible, so we do need to mention it. So actually, our set isn't just 
Japan's ruler of the Black Flame. It's Japan's ruler of the Black Flame, plus their EX decks, plus some other stuff as well. Although this is a point in the video where I, I do have to tell you, those EX decks are generally not that great. They rarely have super competitive cards in, and we've seen them. They're out in Japan. There's not a huge amount of super competitive cards in there. That's not to say they're all trash or anything stupid like that. It is to say that we do need to be a little bit careful that actually, yes, there are 6 to 10 new EXs, whoop whoop, etc. But they're not necessarily all the best EXs. I don't think that's an unfair statement. Now, one of the big hooks of Rule of the Black Flame, and therefore Obsidian Flames, is type-shifted Terra EXs. And we have an English one here, because I showed it off! I got the Reveal of Ice Cube. I am delighted that the lovely folks at the Pokemon Company let me have the Reveal of Ice Cube. It made me very happy indeed. And you can see here, Ice Cube is supposed to be a water Pokemon. This card is a fire Pokemon. So you get the right weakness, i.e. it's a fire Pokemon, so it's weak to water. You get the right typing, it's a fire Pokemon. But the energy cost remains as if it were not type shifted. So here, even though Ice Q is a fire Pokemon and it's weak to water, the attack cost for Ice Q is still water energy. That is very, very important. Now, we know there are three others coming, two we've seen, one we haven't. We have actually been told there is a type-shifted Terra Vespaquen. We haven't seen it, but we have been told it's coming. We have, however, seen Darkness-type Charizard and Lightning-type Tyranitar. They are coming, they are official, they are in the set, we've seen them in Japanese. And to be fair, if we have a look at the booster packs for all of the Black Flame, two of them do feature your Charizard and Tyranitar, which does 100% confirm they are coming in the set. And actually, as a fun little side note, one of the other ones does actually show the Dragonite, so again, that, that confirms that it is in the set as well. That's the one from the EX Start deck. We've not been shown many cards, though. I've seen a bunch of people going, oh, Obsidian Flames, it's not looking like a very good set. A lot of the reveals we've seen from Obsidian Flames have been from the EX Start decks, which, as I've said, are generally slightly less competitive. The main set of Ruler of the Black Flame has 105 cards. We've seen, like, 20. The vast, like, 80% of that set is currently unrevealed. So can we slow down a little bit on trying to pretend this is going to be a terrible set? We don't know, honestly. We've not seen enough cards. Although I do need to mention the Sizzle for a single energy does 10 damage, plus 50 for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. I am obsessed with this Sizzle. I will be building around this Sizzle. I think it looks awesome. But like I say, in terms of card reveals, we don't have a huge amount. We're going to have to wait and see. I'll tell you as they come. Oh, I should say the other booster pack is featuring Rev of Room, which is also going to be getting an EX. Now, we do actually have a bunch of information from the press release as well. And we know that there are going to be 15 Pokemon EX and 6 Terra Pokemon EX. We actually... We know what the Terra Pokemon are. Because we know that we've got Greedon and Dragonite from the EX decks. We know that we've got Ice Q, Charizard and Tyranitar from Obsidian Flames. Although we haven't seen it yet, we know there is going to be a Vespaquen that has been officially announced to be in the English set. So those are the six Terra Pokemon EX. Don't expect any more. There's also 12 Illustration Rare Pokemon... Six special illustration rare Pokemon and supporter cards, and 12 ultra rare full art Pokemon EX and supporter cards, and three hyper rare gold etched cards. All of those numbers should sound low. Because all of those numbers are low. The reason those numbers are low is what I told you a moment ago. This is a set which is coming from a single Japanese set. So, whereas Paldea Evolved had 36 illustration rares, and this had 12, Paldea Evolved was made up of three Japanese sets, each of which had 12 illustration rares. 
this is made up of one Japanese set. So even though we are building up the set numbers by bringing in the EX decks, etc., that's not bringing in extras. Also, as a side note, all the Pokemon I've mentioned from these EX decks and from the EX set, things like Maridon, things like Pormot, just to go for the lightning ones, why not? They don't have special illustration rares or full arts. They won't have special illustration rares or full arts. They don't exist in Japan. We ain't getting them because they don't exist. Oh, and actually, as a little bit of a side note, I've just double checked the description on the official website. It doesn't say which type festival can is, we knew that. It does actually confirm Melmetal. Melmetal EX is mentioned in the description on the official website, which means that the, and it has to be the Metal Metal from the EX Start deck. There isn't another one. So that is actually confirmed as well. Now that's basically what you need to know about Obsidian Flames. We could sit here and talk about all of the different products, but I've done a complete buyer's guide, a complete pre-orders guide for Obsidian Flames, where I go through all of the products and how relevant they are. I will link that in the description rather than just repeating that super fast in this video i don't think that's a great use of your time or mine but if you want to know more about all of the products i'll link it in the description but that's that's subsidian flames and partly i wanted to make this video because the news has been quite piecemeal it's time to bring it all together but also i've seen a bunch of people suggesting that obsidian flames is going to be a terrible set and the reason they're doing that is because we've seen most of our reveals from the ex start decks and of the initial reveals of Rule of the Black Flame in Japan, admittedly, they've not been great. But there are a lot of cards we haven't seen from that set, like literally like 80% of the set. So let's hold off making a judgment until we've seen a little bit more. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. Now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about this set. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely unknown one, who's been a supporter of ours for quite a while now, and seems to be a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.